I said, do you want to fight me? Do you want to catch these hands? Bitch, I'll catch you in the street. Some with that beef. Bitch, I'll beat your ass. We say this very respectfully at the house at 52 Blocks. But because boxing has ran, ran out of teachers, you got boxing coaches and boxing trainers, not enough boxing teachers. So now your uncle Furley had to do it. You're going to have to break down this boxing, man. Get your hands right. Get your life right. Your 52 can't be right if you ain't got a credible offense to come with. This ain't a kung fu movie. So we're going to use Mr. ATL Burley. You already know who he be to break down some training methods you can add on to your repertoire to get your hands right. All right, fighting yes, position. Yes, sir. All righty. Uh, in fact, let's turn this way so they can see the jab from this way. All right. All right. So right now, we're just going to take a look at a proper dopper jab. You know, a standard jab. I had showed the jab before. A lot of people didn't really understand it, but we're just going to break down a good jab. Let's go. All right. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So what we're going to change right there in his motion is that most of us, most of us believe we need to propel ourselves into the hot zone. What does that mean? Hands up. So if I'm if I'm jabbing him, we 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 shaking the bacon, and I jab, I've just smothered myself. So unless you're coming in with a plan to brawl or hit. Your jab should actually have this type of momentum. You see where I'm at? I've, this this part of my line has not moved. So that way, I stay safe that if he throws the right hand, I'm out of range. Throw the right hand, and I want to do it with my hands up, I'm out of range. So now if I happen to jab and step in while he throws the right hand, I kind of run myself into the right hand. So it's not saying that stepping and jabbing is a bad thing, but you may want to do it from a longer distance. But you want the, the, the main point of the main point of the jab is the safest punch you can throw. Once I start committing with power punches, I'm now in the gap, and I now, even with this up, he can get my I'm now in range to be counter punch. So your power punches bring you in danger. So you don't want your jab to lose its best job, which is keeping you safe and checking out and checking out what he's doing. Wow, see, and look at my safe range. So now I see him walking in, I can counter him. So now he's gonna do that. Wait to your back foot, front foot up, jab. Now, no, 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 see no, the no, mistake? Yeah. Because he thinks he can't miss, he can't make it. This is the, this is what you have to know with your jab. One thing you gotta learn is how to find your range. Stand there. I'm gonna show you how to do this because I'm gonna stand right up on him. I'm gonna put my hand here. Step back. Right here is my range. Easy way. You can do it with another person. So if he throws a right, right hand at me, I'm, I'm way out of range now. Watch this. But I can still touch him. That's what you need to understand. The range, it matters. So once again, way to the back, front foot up, jab. No, you touch it. What's going on? No, no. Uh, okay. Yeah. So is there a step happening? Let's move over so you can see my step. So, yeah. so make sure that I'm way out of range of him. I can't. Right here is where my, it seems like my jab is stopping short. But watch this. The front foot is light. The weight is back here. So the step forward is right there. This is, and I'm still back. See, that's the key. I projected myself without projecting myself. So now I'm going to do my jab as he throws the right hand. Go. Look at this. So I'm still out of range. And right there, he's committed. Now I bring myself in. So your jab must keep you protected.